and welcome to Learn Coding Tutorials. My name is Michael and in this video we're going to learn how to build a Backbone.js app. Specifically we're going to use Backbone.js to build a blog roll app and here's what the app is going to look like when we're finished just so you can have a sneak peek of what we're going to be building. You'll see that there's a table with author, title, and URL and I can add a blog so the author will be Michael. The title will be Michael's blog URL will be HTTP slash um, Michael's blog.com and we can add it. We can also um, edit it. When I click on edit, it's going to change the buttons here to update and cancel. I can change it to uh, Michael's blog here. I can change this to Michael blog 2.0 and then we can change it to Michael's um, awesome blog. And click on update and that'll update automatically. I can add another one. So John, John's blog, and then http uh, johnsblog.com. I can add this one. I can also delete blogs. So I can delete this one that I had right here, and we can delete this one. And so this is what we're going to be aiming to build, and it's pretty cool. So let's get started now. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is open up our terminal. I'm just going to clear this for now. And so let's go to our folder where we want to create our app. And I have a folder here called cold code slash miscellaneous or misc where I create my projects. And let's make a new folder. Uh, you can just open up the folder and create it manually if you want. I'm going to be using the terminal because um, I like doing that. It's a little bit faster for me. Uh, let's create a folder called um, backbone uh, blog roll. Let's put underscores blog roll app. Uh, backbone tutorial blog roll app make it nice and descriptive and so now uh, I can you can see that it's up here and I'm gonna CD into that directory so CD backbone tutorial blog roll app and what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to make an index.html file and again, you can just make this manually if you want. Just right click and click on new file if you want. And you'll see that it is now in this folder. Um, I have a lot of bash profile shortcuts. You can use ls to see it if you want. ll won't work for you. Um, so I'm going to go into the, again, this is another shortcut, but you can just open it up by double clicking it. So I'm going to go into my index.html file. And I'm going to first just create a boilerplate um, index.html file. Um, I have something called Emmet that lets me do this really quickly. Uh, you can just type this all out if you want, um, but Emmet is pretty amazing. Uh, so I'd recommend that you get it. So I'm going to call the title Backbone Tutorial Blog Roll App. And just in our body, let's just write, um, let's just make an H1 tag. So H1, let's just name it Backbone Tutorial blog roll app. And before we test this out, we're going to load our, we're going to need to load in Backbone into this um, index.html file. And so what we can do, I'm not going to do it this way. You can go to Backbone, jQuery, underscore, and Bootstrap and download all of them individually and then put them in your folder. So you can go to download, 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 and then put them all into the um, let me just open up the folder just so you can see it. Um, so if we go into our code folder, code folder, and then go into the misc folder, you can go into this um, app and insert all of these files in and then load them into the index.html file. I'm actually going to be using uh, Bower, which is a little bit easier. Um, if you have Node.js, you can install Bower globally. I have it installed globally, so I can just use it um, from any folder. So I'm just going to type in Bower install. And look how fast and convenient this is. jQuery backbone underscore bootstrap. That's going to install all of them for me all at once, and that is super convenient. So I'd recommend that you use Bower if you don't have it. And now what I can do is I can type in Bower list dash dash paths to see all of these paths here. And now I'm going to um, insert these into my folder, into my file here. So let's drag this over here. So these are all the paths to my um, 
files that I need. So first let's load in um, Bootstrap. And so let's type in link. And I'm just gonna use Emmet shortcuts here. Again, you can just type this all out yourself if you want. Um, Bootstrap's right here, this one. So let's copy paste that in here. And look what Emmet does for me. It does all of that really quickly. And let's do the um, script files now. So let's copy paste these. I'm gonna have, and one thing that is important, you need to load the backbone one last because it requires the, uh, it's dependent on the jQuery and the uh, underscore. So, and you can put jQuery and underscore above that in whatever order you want. Like this. All right, so now we need to do that, do that, do that. Now let's test out our app in our folder and see if that works. Um, so again, this is another shortcut. You can just um, go to the folder and double click on the file if you want. But I'm doing it this way because it's faster for me. And you can see um, that everything has been loaded. I'm gonna open up the console here. Uh, that's Command Option J or Control Shift J if you're on Windows. You can see that Bootstrap is formatted nicely with a nice font here. Before we do anything else, I'm going to wrap this in a nicer container to center it a little bit more. So let's put a uh, div container around the H1. Uh, so div container. And then I'm going to put this below here. And I'll tab this over. Then let's um, reload this page. You can see that it's a little more centered. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to first um, create the basic table layout for um, our app. And so underneath this header, I'm going to make a table. Again, I'm using um, Emmet shortcuts. This is a table with a class table. I'm going to create a T head and then a TR. And then I'm going to want um, four THs. And again, you can just type all that out if you want, but I just really like using Emmet because it's really um, convenient. So again, get Emmet, um, get Sublime Text. They're really useful. And so let's um, type in for the THs. We're going to have an author. We're going to have a title, so the blog titles. We're going to have URL. And then we're going to have um, action here. So this is the place for the buttons. So let's just refresh our browser. So we have those four columns there. So let's make sure Backbone's working. So let's just type in Backbone here. And we should see that weird thing there. Just, that just means that Backbone is properly loaded into our browser. If it said um, undefined or something, then you would need to uh, check your syntax for these files down here. So now let's play around with Backbone a little bit before we do anything else. I'm going to make a new file in my folder called um, scripts.js. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load it into my index.html down here. And again, you can just type this out, um, script, scripts.js. So that's going to load it into our um, index.html file there. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's just type in, um, let's start by making a model. So let's make a model called, um, let's comment this. So model, backbone model, model. And then I'm going to do var, let's say um, blog. Let's capitalize this because it's going to be one of our um, classes. Var blog equals backbone dot model dot extend. And let's make some um, defaults. This is going to be what our models are going to um, have as default values just so they're not empty. And so let's have a author. We're just going to leave it as an empty string, uh, but that way it'll give it the categories. And then title, URL, and oh, that's all. Uh, all right, so let's um, just test this out first. So back in our um, console here, let's just type in so first I saved it, and then let's go here. And let's just type in um, var 
let's just name it blog equals new blog. We're going to instantiate that. It'll say undefined there. Now if I type in blog here, it'll have this weird child thing. But if I do blog that to JSON parentheses, it'll have the default values that we gave it. And now if we give um, let's give our blog some values. So var blog equals new blog. Let's give it some values now actually. So let's give it author is going to be Michael. Title is going to be Michael's blog. And URL is going to be HTTP uh, Michael's blog.com. Let's close that there. Oops, I need a space between right there. All right. Now if I type in blog dot to Jason, it's going to give me uh, what I type in. So the author is Michael Titles, Michael's blog, and the URL is uh, I spelled blog wrong, but that's okay. Um, so that is a model, and let's move on to collections before we do anything else. So let's make a backbone collection, and what the collection is is going to be a array of models, and so let's do var blogs equals backbone dot collection dot extend and we're just gonna leave it like that for now so what we're gonna do is we're going to um, instantiate two blogs and so let's just make two blogs right here um, var blog one equals new blog and let's just give it the same values that I gave it before. Um, let's give it author is going to be Michael title Michael's uh, I need to uh, escape the apostrophe there uh, Michael's blog and the URL is going to be HTTP Michael's blog dot com and let's make a second blog here for blog two equals new blog let's give the author's name it'll be John title will be John blog the URL is going to be HTTP slash s John's blog dot com and just to really quickly test it out. Let's just uh, refresh our browser. I'm going to type in um, blog1 and let's do blog2 dot to Jason and we should have John, John's blog and John's blog dot com there. So now let's um, instantiate um, a collection and we'll do var blogs equals new blogs and it's going to have an array that contains uh, blog one comma blog two and so now if we go to our browser refresh it let's type in uh, blogs here we'll have a uh, child with length two and if we go to blogs um, dot to Jason we will have two objects in here and each of the objects will be the objects that we created so we have Michael here and John here so that is a collection. Okay, so we're going to stop here for this video. In the next video, we're gonna go through views and how to add models and collections to our views. So make sure you check out that video as well. I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.